guys. So I want to talk about my relationship with animals and why they're so important. At the age of eight years old, I was diagnosed with diabetes. Um, and that is with type one diabetes, which is really a scary condition at a, as an eight year old. You know, I had to start taking insulin, at, you know, shots, um, checking my blood sugars. And so for my mom, that was a really scary experience. So one of the first things that she did is she sent me to a therapeutic um, camp that had horses. So people ask, how did you get started in horses? It was actually a therapeutic riding program. So when we talk about animal assisted therapy, it was the horse that was used not only for my mental, you know, making me feel good, making me feel normal, whatnot, but also physically. Um, as my doctor said two of the best exercises I could do for myself is both swimming and horseback riding. And so I can even tell today after over 35 years of having type one diabetes, I can tell today when I haven't ridden a horse. I physically, I can feel the difference in my legs, um, just overall my body, my balance, my blood sugars, whatnot. So horses have been a, a major part of my life because of my diabetes. So that animal assisted therapy is essential. And then you'll see the cat. So when I went off to college, my mom was really scared about whenever I had low blood sugars as a diabetic, I could get to the point where I might even go into a coma. So as a parent, you get really nervous about, will they be able to wake up in the middle of the night? Now we have new um, monitoring systems that are automatic, like the Dexcon system, that can help to wake you up. But back then we didn't have anything. And so my mom sent me off with a service cat. What would happen in the middle of the night, if my sugars went low, the cat would go ahead and he'd sleep right next to my face and would lick my face because I'd start sweating. The changes in my blood sugars started to then um, produce across my face. And that scratchy tongue, if you've ever had a cat that scratched your tongue, that scratchy tongue would wake me up in the middle of the night and that would alert me that I needed to check my blood sugars. So again, it was animals, so this with a service animal and then also for an equine assisted therapy animal that I was able as a diabetic today, after 35 years, able to survive and to do well. So that is why I'm so passionate about companion animals. Um, not only do they bring me joy every day, whether it's my horse and riding my horse or my cat, just snuggling with them, but they also then help me as a diabetic to stay healthy um, and to stay well and hopefully live many more years.